The Hunt for the Chupacabra Once upon a time, in the hallowed halls of the prestigious Ivy Wood University, there was a brilliant professor named Dr. Penelope Hawthorne. Known for her sharp intellect and insatiable curiosity, she was a force to be reckoned with in the field of cryptozoology. Her latest obsession? The elusive chupacabra. Dr. Hawthorne had spent years studying the mythical creature, poring over ancient texts and interviewing locals who claimed to have encountered the beast. But she needed more than just theories and stories, she needed concrete evidence. That's when she enlisted the help of her most promising grad student, the eager and slightly eccentric Theodore Teddy McAllister. Armed with a map, a camera, and a backpack filled with snacks, Dr. Hawthorne and Teddy set off on their grand adventure. Their journey took them deep into the heart of the dense, untamed wilderness, where legends whispered of the Chupacabra's lair. As they trudged through the underbrush, Teddy couldn't help but feel a mix of excitement and trepidation. Professor, do you really think we'll find the Chupacabra? He asked, his voice tinged with both awe and skepticism. Dr. Hawthorne flashed him a mischievous grin. Oh, Teddy, my dear boy, the Chupacabra is like a puzzle waiting to be solved. And we, my young apprentice, are the ones who hold the key. Days turned into weeks as the duo tirelessly searched for any sign of the elusive creature. They followed tracks, listened for eerie howls in the night, and even set up motion-activated cameras in strategic locations. But the chupacabra remained as elusive as ever. One evening, as they sat around their campfire, Teddy's eyes widened with excitement. Professor, look, he exclaimed, pointing towards a nearby clearing. There, illuminated by the moonlight, stood a creature unlike anything they had ever seen before. It was small, with scaly skin and glowing red eyes. Its fangs were sharp, and its spines stood on end. The chupacabra had finally revealed itself. Dr. Hawthorne and Teddy watched in awe as the creature prowled the clearing, its movements both graceful and menacing. They snapped pictures, recorded videos, and took detailed notes, capturing the chupacabra's every move. But just as they thought they had succeeded, disaster struck. Startled by a sudden noise, the chupacabra vanished into the night, leaving Dr. Hawthorne and Teddy with nothing but their memories and evidence. Disappointed but undeterred, the duo returned to Ivy Wood University, where they presented their findings to a room full of skeptical colleagues. The photographs, videos, and notes were met with raised eyebrows and doubtful murmurs. However, Dr. Hawthorne and Teddy remained undeterred. They knew that their encounter with the chupacabra was just the beginning. Armed with their evidence and unwavering determination, they continued their research, vowing to one day unlock the secrets of the mythical creature. And so, the legend of Dr. Penelope Hawthorne and her intrepid grad student, Teddy McAllister, lived on. Their hunt for the chupacabra became the stuff of university lore, inspiring future generations of cryptozoologists to chase their own mythical creatures and unravel the mysteries of the world.